Hi guys, PlayStation has launched their PSVR 2 PC adapter, which lets you play your VR games with a PSVR 2 on your PC. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And a big thank you to PlayStation for sending me this adapter to review and test out. So I'll take a quick look at what you get inside the packaging, show you how to set it up, and then test it out to give you an idea of how well it performs. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. Let's start by taking a look at what you get inside the box. You get an instruction manual, a power adapter with a DC connector, a power cable with a UK plug and a two pin connector, and finally the PlayStation VR2 PC adapter. It has a cable with a USB-A connector. At the front, you have a USB-C connection point for connecting up the PSVR2. And coming around the back, you have a DC connector for the power adapter. And on the other side, you have the connector for the DisplayPort cable. Connecting up the adapter is pretty simple. First connect the power cable into the power adapter and then plug the other end into the DC port on the PC adapter. Then plug in a DisplayPort 1.4 cable from your PC into the back of the adapter. It's a bit of a shame that that's not provided in the packaging and the other end connects to your PC. Next, plug in the USB-A connector from the PC adapter into your PC. Don't use an extension cable or a hub as this could cause problems. And then on the front of the adapter, connect the USB-C from your PSVR2 into the PC adapter, and that's it. Once connected and turned on, you'll need to connect both the PSVR2 sense controllers to your PC via Bluetooth. Bluetooth 4.0 or later is supported, but if you're using a Bluetooth adapter, note that some may not be compatible. I'll include a list of compatible Bluetooth adapters in the description in case you needed one. Now, if you're using the Bluetooth from your motherboard, then remember to install the Wi-Fi antennas on your PC, as these are used for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to increase the range. Now, to pair up your PSVR2 Sense controllers to your PC, go into Bluetooth settings, click on Add Device, and on the right controller, push down the PS button and the options button at the same time until you see the LED light on the side start flashing. Then select the controller to connect it. On the left controller, hold down the PS button and the create button until the LED light is flashing. Then again, select the controller to connect it. Next, we need to go into Steam and install the PlayStation VR 2 app. Once installed, take your PSVR 2 headset and switch it on. You'll then feel the headset vibrate and the LED will turn on and turn to white. Then go back into Steam and click on the PlayStation VR 2 app. You'll then be prompted to install the PSVR 2 driver and this only needs to be installed once, so click install. After that, you'll be prompted to install Steam VR, so proceed with that. The PlayStation VR 2 app begins and you'll need to go through the app setup. So initially making sure the PSVR 2 sense controllers are connected. Then it goes through connecting the headphones. Next, it goes through the process of putting on the headset. Then we can map out the play area and that's it. An odd issue I came across was that the Steam VR app initially kept giving an error. And I found that if I switched to a different display port on my GPU, that helped to resolve the issue. Functionality wise on a PC, there is some functionality missing compared to using the VR headset on a PS5. So on a PC, it's missing HDR for the sense controller. It's not got adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, but the rumble motors work. The headset doesn't have haptic feedback and there's no eye tracking as this functionality is optimized for just the PS5. Now with the headset on, you're placed into a Steam VR room and from here you can adjust settings and launch games. It's generally easy to use and navigate around, but you will need the headset and the two sense controllers as they're used for navigating around and adjusting settings. You can play both VR and non-VR games with the headset. And if you're wondering, you can't get away with just using the headset without a monitor, even though there is a desktop view. So you'll still need the monitor connected to do basic things on your PC, like logging into it and launching Steam VR. Now I've connected everything to my sim racing rig to test this out. The cockpit I'm using is the Next Level Racing GT Elite and I've got the Mozza R12 wheelbase with their new Vision GS racing wheel and their CRP pedals. My PC is a custom build which I did myself for the first time and spec wise it has an Intel i9 processor, 128 gigs of RAM and an RTX 4080 GPU. And if you wanted more details on this, I'll be releasing a video very soon. Now, minimum spec wise to use the PSVR 2 on a PC, you'll need Windows 10 64 bit, an Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 3 3100, a minimum of 8 gigs of RAM, and graphics wise, 
NVIDIA RTX 1650 or later graphics card or an AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT or later. But it's worth noting if your graphics card has a Type-C port for VR support, then it's VR ready and the PSVR 2 will work by connecting it directly to it. So there's no need to purchase the adapter in this situation. Testing out F1 2024, launching the game and navigating around worked pretty well with you easily able to tweak settings onto the cockpit view. And seriously, this is insane with you able to look around the cockpit and your surroundings outside of the car, giving a really immersive experience with it feeling like you're actually sitting in a Formula One car. Onto racing and wow, this is pretty amazing with you having a complete view while racing and with the added benefit of being able to look around as you're racing, giving you an insanely good racing experience. Performance with the PSVR 2 felt really good. Clarity levels in the cockpit were great, but you've got to have the headset on in a specific position to get good clarity levels. And if you were watching on the monitor, you might notice a slight lag, but in game, it was all good. Onto Asserta Corsa Competizione, and this was a bit weird. You launch the game and you're in a room that looked like a garage with a screen for navigating around where the text at times felt too small for when you're making adjustments but no biggie as you can set up the majority of the settings before you start racing. In-game performance in this was excellent too with it giving a great level of immersion so really enjoyable. Next over to Dirt Rally 2.0, the level of immersion was great but racing in this was a little bit strange as it didn't feel that smooth but generally worked okay. So in summary PlayStation really have made the PSVR 2 even more versatile by adding the PS adapter enabling you to enjoy VR games on a PC as well as still using it on your PS5. The level of immersion it gives is just awesome with excellent clarity levels making it a real game changer if you're into sim racing and wanting to take the racing experience to the next level. The setup is pretty straightforward but Bluetooth connectivity is something to keep in mind as if you do have connectivity issues you may have to get a separate dongle. Price wise it's not bad coming in at just under £50 or $60 but it would have been nice if PlayStation packaged it with the PSVR 2. On the negative side Percy I did experience some motion sickness after a certain amount of time playing but it does ease up over time so you couldn't just jump in and race for a couple of hours you'd have to ensure you take regular breaks so there you have it you come to the end of another video and i hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below including purchasing links if you have any questions on this let me know in the comments below for those of you who got to the end of this video please leave a comment with adapter as it's awesome to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it you can follow me on my socials don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release thanks for viewing and see you in the next one